President of the Centre for the Study of Islam and Democracy, Radwan Masmoudi, joins us from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, we saw some of the crowd there holding up their signs saying, Save our democracy. Doesn't look like much of a democracy. It looks like a president who's totally in charge. Well, um, yes, I mean, uh, what Paisis Ayed is doing uh, for the last 12 to 14 months is basically destroying the only democracy uh, in the Arab world. He has ruled by decree for now almost 14 months. He has suspended the constitution, and uh, he now wants to jail his opponents. Uh, not only in Nahba uh, considers it uh, a coup, uh, most political parties today uh, consider what Qais Saeed is doing as both illegal and unconstitutional, and therefore a coup uh, against democracy. And uh, all the uh, opposition is basically united in rejecting the path that Qais is, uh, has undertaken since uh, the July 25, uh, 2021 uh, decisions or coup against democracy. Um, it, is, it is a very, very tough time for democracy in Tunisia today. What can Democrats do about it? All the instruments they would, might usually use, like Parliament, seem to have been neutered by this man. Is there anything they can do? Well, the first thing they need to do, uh, Democrats need to do, is to unite. The opposition uh, political parties in Tunisia agree that what Qais Saeed is doing is wrong and unconstitutional, but they do not yet agree on how to restore democracy, on the path forward for restoring democracy. And uh, I think they need, to, they need to get together. They need to sit down uh, around a, uh, a national dialogue uh, table uh, and, uh, and flesh out their differences and, and uh, come up with a roadmap for restoring democracy. I think they will find the majority of the people are behind them. Uh, the popularity of Qais Saeed started very high a year ago, was about 70 to 80 percent uh, supporting uh, Qais Saeed. Since then, it has dwindled now to less than 20 percent. Um, and that's why he, uh, he is planning to rig the elections, uh, which he already rigged the referendum last month in August, uh, actually in July. And he is planning a new parliamentary elections in December, which also will be rigged, because he has appointed the uh, commission that is monitoring the election and that is controlling the election, which is, it is not independent anymore. Same thing with the Judicial Council. He has uh, uh, shut down the independent uh, judicial, High Judicial Council and appointed his own supporters in charge of the council. And now any judges, a judge who refuses to follow the orders of Qais Saeed can be fired uh, by Qais Saeed himself. So I think the opposition needs to unite and they need to come up with a, a, a roadmap or a, a platform for restoring democracy. Radwan Masmoudi, thank you very much.